Margaret Larson. Meet Your Mayor series continues this morning as we head to the third largest city in King County. We are headed down south to Kent and Mayor Dana Ralph joins me now. We were just already good morning talking about something fascinating going on in Kent. Explain to us what this is. So this is a gift that I received from Blue Origin, the Which Jeff, is? Jeff Bezos rocket company. Because um, a guy just has he rockets. He just has a rocket company, right? <laughs> right now we've got 15, 15 or 1,600 um, employees in the Kent Valley that are making rockets that That's go amazing. into space and come back and land. And they brought me this gift a couple weeks ago. They had, uh, went on their flight back in, I think it says April, April 29th, they took my business card into space and brought it back. So, so yeah. your business that, card that business went, card to space, went to space and came back. came back and they gave you that. That's yep. amazing. So that is one of many exciting things going on in Kent. Yeah. Tell us about some of the other things that are developing there. So we are really working on rebranding re the Kent Valley. A lot of times people think about it just being warehouses and a lot of distribution, but there's a ton of high-tech advanced manufacturing going on. We've got companies like Blue Origin, um, Amazon is there. Starbucks, um, Robbins Company, you name it. There's all kinds of really exciting um, things happening in our valley. Very cool things. And sometimes we just kind of get stuck in thinking about an area in one way exactly. and fail to notice what's new. Why did you want to be mayor? Um, I've lived in Kent my whole life and I love my city. And this is an opportunity to celebrate the things that I love, make sure everybody else knows about them, and right. also tackle some of the challenges that I see. So, Let's talk about those. What are the biggest couple of challenges that you want to work on? Um, you know, we're growing like crazy. Like you said, we're the third largest city in King County. So with that comes comes growing pains. Mm -hmm. We're an extremely diverse community. Yes. Um, ninth city of our size in the entire nation. So um, again, benefits and challenges that come with that. Right. So, and just and, you know, like every city funding making sure we've got enough money to take care of all of the infrastructure, hire police officers, that kind of thing. Right. We've been talking with other mayors about similar challenges that you kind of look sometimes to the federal government or the state for answers, but mayors can actually do some things on their own in localities and come up with new solutions. Um, what do you think is, is kind of the effort you're most proud of in terms of tackling a few of these I issues? think right now it is re, um, rethinking that valley. So moving away from that old model, we're not a bedroom community anymore. There's 70,000 jobs that are happening mm -hmm. in Kent. And so it's going out and attracting those businesses that maybe have been in other locations. Um, we know that Kent is conveniently located. We've got all kinds of benefits and more people are moving south. So so we're really Absolutely. working on growing that um, good paying job market. Right, and more affordable housing for yep. people who come to it. Okay, so do you have a special hope for the, the city's future? If you look ahead, I'm sure you plan far beyond when you'll be mayor um, for long-term sorts of goals. What what are they? You know, sustainability is the biggest thing, right? Can we continue to take care of our population? But my, my biggest goal is that the region and the state look at Kent and know that we've got great things going on. I really want people to um, kind of get past that old view and understand yeah. that it's the place that people want to be. And move into kind of a new bright future yep. together. Um, that's very cool that you grew up there. So here are some lightning round questions okay. for, for you as a person. Um, three people, they can be historical or current, that you would like to invite to a dinner party. Oh my goodness, that's a tough one. Yeah, do, you know, um, you can do one or two, you don't yeah, have to okay, do three, because so it's our game and we can make it up. we can make the rules as we go. <laughs> that's okay. right. Um, oh boy, let's see. My grandpa, because mm -hmm. I don't remember getting to meet Interesting. him. Interesting. Um, so let's think of somebody famous. Um, Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> he's very famous <laughs> and he'd probably my, be very right? cool at dinner. Yeah, I think that that would be fun. Yeah, so. okay. What music on your playlist might surprise people? I'm metal. I, Metallica, Guns oh N' Roses. Goodness, are you kidding? Do you, <laughs> yeah, Iron Maiden. Metallica yeah. and Guns N' Roses? Because yeah. that's like my two favorites. So, Do you like thanks. the new Metallica album? It's yeah, I'm I'm still kind of master of puppets, but yeah, um, yeah. My yeah. Bad choice favorite there's... Guns N' Roses song. Oh, sweet child of mine. Okay, very good. I like you even more. <laughs> What's your favorite guilty pleasure food? Oh, anything with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> were you born in Kent? I was not born in Kent. Where were you born? Uh, I was actually born in Fargo, North Dakota, but I've been in Kent my entire life. My dad, so I'm fourth generation. My dad was born and raised in Kent. My mm -hmm. grandpa and my great grandpa. That's very cool. How often do you floss? I floss daily. Do you really? <laughs> I do. Oh my goodness, you're like the only person on earth. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent, good. Uh, cats or dogs? Um, we have a dog, but I would love a cat. Do you think they'd get along? No. This is a tough, that's a tough Yeah, and my husband doesn't like build. cats, so we, you know, we did dogs. Okay, what's the last book you read? Oh my goodness, the budget book. <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me about the hockey tradition in Kent. So we are very, very fortunate that the Thunderbirds call Kent home. Yep. We have Shower Center, um, able to go down there on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays and catch a game. The kids that play on the hockey team and their kids, right, 16 to right. 20-ish. They're the ones who are trying to make it to the They're, NHL the, that's, that's and the going to school. Step, and they go to school. So they go to school in Kent, volunteer in our community. A lot of them mentor our kids. So the T-Birds are a significant part of our community. They also just have really fun events. We've had them on the show quite a lot. And, uh, you know, I know they're great fun to, to follow. And I'm yeah. glad they're there with that you. Was, that was an amazing day when they won the championship. Yep. It was um, Tons of people came out uh, to celebrate, and we are so proud of the Thunder. That was not a small thing, yeah. and I'm super jealous. You guys get the next Dick's Burgers. We do. It opens what is December up? How did you 12th. Do this? I'm so excited. They've got a fabulous location up on Pacific Highway next to Highline College. Right. Um, I got to do a coin flip yesterday to give away orange tickets so people could be the first in line <laughs> on the opening day. That sounds so, like fun, and you've yeah. got great strength and diversity. We have we a do. lot of people coming newly to the United States mm -hmm. who live in Kent, and um, you guys have done a really good job. Yeah, our of community has the community. embraced the diversity. It is, like I said, it's definitely something we celebrate. Um, variety of restaurants, all yep. kinds of different events, lots of good things going on. There are some cool events. Keep us posted about that because we'd definitely. like to promote them and, and oh, we would uh, love make that. sure we know about it so we can go down and enjoy some yeah. pretty fabulous food a bunch of the time. Thank definitely. you, Mary. Appreciate Thank it. You. Her business card has been to space and she <laughs> likes metal music. I am down with this. We'll be right back. Thank you very much.